In this video, I will show you how to create an SVG animation using HTML and CSS. We'll start simple, where we'll treat the whole of SVG as one unit and animate it. Then we'll learn how to control different parts of an SVG and animate it, like this rocket. From there, we'll learn how to divide a single SVG into multiple different parts and import it into HTML to create complicated scenes and movements like this. We'll start by downloading an SVG. We'll go to freesvg.org and type star splash. Then we'll just download the SVG, open it, and right click to inspect it. We'll go to the main SVG element, right click, and then we'll just copy the whole of the element. In the VS code, we'll create a div and give it an ID of container. And then we'll paste the SVG element in there. We'll give the SVG element an ID. Let's call it SVG contain. We'll give the group an ID. These are the elements we're going to animate. So we need to identify them in CSS. And now we can see how the SVG is looking. So this is exact SVG that we downloaded. Now we'll just change the fill of the SVG, give it a different color. In our style, we'll first target the container. And then we'll target the SVG. We gave it an ID of SVG contain. We'll give it a height and a width. And we'll position it. 10 rem from the top and 45 rem from the left. We'll also add an animation. We haven't created it yet. So we'll just call it star anim, linear infinite, and we'll give it a transition effect. We'll just move it a little bit to the left. Now we'll just use keyframes and we'll create the animation and we'll just give it a rotation effect. And that's all it takes to animate the SVG. For the next animation, we'll download the image of this rocket. The difference between this SVG animation and the previous one is, in this case, we want to animate different parts of this SVG. So what we need to do first before we import it into HTML is we need to expand this group element and identify the parts that we need to animate. Otherwise, once we import it into HTML, it becomes very hard to actually identify. So it's best to open the SVG and go through these parts. So once I've identified them, I'll bring the SVG as we did previously into the HTML and then I will give those different parts, different IDs. So I know I want to animate the left flame, the right flame and the middle flame. So I have identified them accordingly and now I'll give them the ID so that I can animate them in the CSS. Once that is done, we can then target these individual elements in our CSS. For example, the flame, we can target individual flames and give them different transition effects. We can give them rotate effects to uh, imitate the movement of the flame. As far as the rocket is concerned, we can target it as one whole unit and give it a translate effect in the Y direction. So it moves from bottom to the top of the screen. The main takeaway here is that when the animation or the SVG animation is slightly complicated, it is best to identify the parts that we want to animate and then we can target those parts in our CSS. So far we have seen two different ways of animating an SVG. One is we can target SVG as a whole and the second way we saw is we can identify different parts of an SVG and animate those. But sometimes neither of these two tricks work because the SVG is really complicated. For example, here we have an SVG of a butterfly. And there's just so many different parts and groups, like hundreds of different elements, that if I 
import this SVG as is, it will be really hard to animate it. So in this case, sometimes it's best to use an SVG editor to split the SVG into different parts. So what I'm going to do with this animation is I'm going to split this butterfly SVG into three different parts, the left wing, the body, and the right wing. And then I can add those different parts in different div containers and then animate those div containers rather than trying to animate the SVG directly. In that case, I can use things that we are very familiar with in CSS like transformer region, uh, which works very differently when you actually target it directly on an SVG element. So I'm going to go ahead and create this scene. The only difference between this and the other SVG animations we have seen is I'm actually splitting this SVG into three different SVGs. I'm also going to add other SVGs to add to the scene. And then I'm going to add these different SVGs into different div containers with different IDs. And then I'll target those div containers so I can use the HTML translate and transform effects on those div containers to animate this SVG. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.